Hi, we're Bill and Kim Nash, and welcome to our show. If you're seeing this, we're really at camp. We'll be with our champs on that Saturday, which is this Saturday when you see this. And we're going to take them out to a good home cooking place. I know a lot of champs are on Facebook. You're going to love what Aunt Kim picked out. We got fried chicken, chicken fried steak, fried catfish, and hush puppies, and bre- banana bread pudding, and mm-hmm. apple cobbler, and mm-hmm. uh, dessert. And, dessert. Yeah, oh we're just, goodness. you can order anything you want that. We're going to be sugared out. By yes, the time we will. That's done. But, you know, we tried every restaurant in Riverside, which is a little town close to where we're going to have camp, and we picked this one. Daisy Steiner. You know why? Because it's the only restaurant in town. <laughs> and it's the best <laughs> restaurant, and it's we're home lucky. cooking. Oh, we're blessed. we already been up there talking to them, and the, the champs are going to – maybe some of our champs are sitting – now, our champs are our teenage and older counselors, but we don't call them counselors because a lot of our children – because of their situation and through trauma and stuff, have been in front of the judge. And they kind of turn off. They turn off and they hear counselor. But this is your champ, your best friend. So they come a day early, and we do some training and carrying on, and we go eat dinner. We always have dinner. Is one of those wonderful things you get around the table and start talking about last year's camp. And we have 19 camps now that we can talk about. I just want to add, it's like family reunion because so many of these champs, we watch them grow from 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 Mm -hmm. into interns, 13 to 15, junior champs at 16, seniors at 18. They're in college. I mean, driving their own cars to camp when their mommy used to drop them off. But we still, you know, like a mama always sees her baby. It doesn't matter how tall they get. That's how we feel about our champs and we love them and are so proud of them. Yes, we are. But to get on with today's show, we got something special going on. We do. I have a friend, a great friend named Buddy Griffin from Sagemont Church out off of the Beltway where the big, huge cross is. Uh, We just appreciate him so much. He's been a great blessing in our lives. We've known him at least 20 years, somewhere along that line. And he has discovered out of his banjo band came three kids. Uh, They were two brothers. There are two brothers, Aaron and Ben. And then there's Eli, who somehow got in the mix, but they all... Well, they've pl- been friends for about eight years, they uh, told me. Oh, that's me. right. Yes. They said that, didn't they? So and most they of their life, they've they been They all friends. play banjo, ukulele, guitar, bass, bass and uh, uh, Aaron plays the viola. And I wanted to bring the viola, but you can't get anything else in the... the what is it? <laughs> And cello. the cello. I love okay. the cello. Well, a viola sort of like the cello, only different. But they were but with us last week, if you were watching, and we yeah. asked them to come again. Because we had so many comments. People oh, yes. love these boys and they're playing. Listen, these Who guys. Who couldn't love these boys? They're just dedicated to music and to the Lord Jesus, and we appreciate their stand for Christ and for, for what America stands for, the good things in this world. And so on, on Tuesday night here at camp, because oh, we're at camp, you know, when you see this, uh, they're going to perform for all our kids. And we're looking forward to that. Yeah. And mm-hmm. they brought they're going to bring their bathing suits. And, yes. Oh, uh, yeah. They got to go swimming. But so when you all are thinking about all the stuff that we're going to be doing at camp, remember, we are taking every precaution to stay safe, to stay distanced, to take our, our germ free hands and wash hands and this and that. If everything. you want to know how careful we're being, just go to Carolina Creek Christian Camp camp and look at all the, the they they've gone above and beyond what the cdc requires or the right. other uh, authorities that license camps in yeah. texas instead of masks we're gonna have buffs and they pull them up and you know then uh, we're gonna write our names on our buff and then every evening they gather those up and go wash the them camp and is bring washing them back them and, and we them all back. have a brand new clean buff to start the next day with of course when someone's within their own smaller group they don't have to wear the buff and uh, when they're doing activities and we will be spaced in the dining room and we will be spaced at rally time it'll be a little different but we're going to have camp and these kids are raring to go they are ready for a right. break, and so are the parents. They need I a think. break. They need a break. Well, <laughs> okay, anyway, let's, let's, uh, let these let's guys hear the hot shots play right. uh, the, the songs, and they're going to introduce them themselves. So, ladies and gentlemen, here are our new greatest friends, the hot shots. This is our Hawaiian medley. <laughs> Thank you. 
Beethoven's song for release. He was in Mr. Buddy's band. This is Canon and D. Thank you, Buddy Griffin, for bringing us the hot shots. We certainly appreciate them coming out. And, and thanks to them. They're so adorable. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. They're, they're all little boys. I mean, little. Well, uh, boy. Twelve, 12. Two of them are 12. Well, and Aaron's uh, yeah, 14. Yeah, Aaron's too. 14. And Eli and, and Ben are 12. Yeah, something like that. They're, but they're just like brothers, the three of them, uh, and they just carry on. Well, two of them are brothers, but then uh, Eli is their buddy. And they pick and grin. They said they pick their they have their either their banjo or their mandolin or whatever going around the house and around and they around. They ride in the car playing their instruments. Playing their instruments. All their the mama time. finally says, Enough. <laughs> I thought that was really and She cute. has eleven kids, so oh, include yeah. Well anyway, y'all anyway, we appreciate you. You were talking about coming. Buddy and I that was. kind of intros our next song because Buddy Griffin at Sagemont Church, who's a good friend of ours now for about twenty years, uh, is it yeah, us to G, write this song. Buddy G called me one day and said, we finally got the cross up. They went through a lot of people, you know, some of them objecting to this cross. And we're in America, but they put it up anyway. And it's been a bright light to it's the beautiful. city of Houston now for many years. And so Buddy G called me and said, I need you to write us a song to commemorate it. Because the day of the dedication of the cross, they had us come and sing. when they had all the dignitaries there from Houston, Texas. And it's just a beautiful cross. If you go by, uh, uh, see, it's Beltway 8, just before I-45, if you're coming from, like, Sugar Land. And so if you're coming up I-45, look at Beltway 8 and take a ride. It's right there where Black Hawk Drive and all that are. But you can see that cross for miles. And at night, it's lit up so beautifully to honor Jesus Christ and his sacrifice for us. And I wanted to show this cross oh, yeah, yes, yes. that a good friend of ours gave us. And just to... Tom Harrison, we're praying for you. He just had his 10th knee operation. I think it was only nine. Nine, yeah. only nine. Only nine, oh uh, my God. But he gave this to us, and yeah. uh, it's just beautiful. A friend of his makes these. He and, and Christy. 
Just be encouraged, Tom. Wife, we love really. you and Christy. Praying for you, nurse Tommy. Christy. <laughs> yeah, nurse. I didn't call on her this year because I know she's being his nurse. This it's kind of tough. He just had his surgery. Any of you ever had knee problems, you know what it means. But nine surgeries on one knee, my goodness. Pray for Tom Harrison, our good friend. This is going to be the last one. Thank you for the cross. And now we would like to sing for you. The answer is the cross because in life, if you will remember, you have challenges. I've heard Kirby Lammer say that on our Champions Kids Camp website. In life, you'll have many challenges. But I'm going to tell you this. The answer is the cross in Jesus Christ. All right. Here we go. When the dark outweighed the light, I lost direction in my life. Up against the wall I could find no hope at all I didn't know where to turn To turn it all around And fill up my emptiness Not until I found The answer is the cross And the one who died there died Sacrifice he gave us for his precious blood that saved us. Jesus paid the cost, no one has to be lost without exception to every earthly question. The answer is the cross. Those last steps With the weight of the world On his shoulders The enemy thought Christ was conquered by death As he took his last breath Oh, but it wasn't over And ever since that day Nothing's changed He gave us for His precious blood that saved us. Jesus paid the cost, no one has to be lost without exception to every earthly question. Oh